No, please, not again! Oh, I'll kill you, all right. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing you're missing. What is that? Behind you? Oh, come on. Expect me to fall for that? I mean, try something original. <laughs> what the hell are you? <laughs> no, stay away! Supposed to be real. Who tore this place apart? I don't know what it is. It's huge. Where is Black Mask? I I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Loeb. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. This is Captain James Morrison. These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. Black Mask. How the hell should I know? I'm going to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Screw you! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. He said he's in the execution chamber. <laughs> With Lobe. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. <clears throat> into this mess in the first place.
Commissioner's pockets, because they are lying with my money. And what have I got to show? Huh? My own men in the slammer? No, I'm no more. Boom! No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, love! come through for you? You may have, Gillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all I've done for you. Too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the back! We're never getting out of here! Hey, got it!
Where's he going? The boss of me is me. You want teeth? I want answers. Wait till Black Mask's assassins get through with you. What assassin? <laughs> Whoever wins is gonna be famous. At least we know he won't be ugly. Freeze! Hold it right there! We're taking you in. Not tonight. thing is a bat man, eh? Are you back for the night, mm -hmm. sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassins, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile, man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly. Burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget not a... What the... <laughs> Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot. Freeze! Says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Bachinsky. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. 
You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. I think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the Penguin. Try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. I don't patter. <sighs> Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Thank 
Goodwin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait. I already know. Now, let's see if you've been naughty or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> need to stop that signal before I can track down the penguin. Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. On my way! Listen up. 
I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fight after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza, but just there to show you are. what a nice on guy I am, the, final offer. the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. Penguin's been hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so hard to find. Wait for laggers. Batman? Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. You ain't gonna last long tonight! <laughs> what are you? Boiler deck fights. You know I always get a laugh out of you first round lot. <laughs> ah, treat me. I keep you boys around. <laughs> well, that and I need someone to I can beat up anybody. <laughs> oh, and don't think I didn't notice those who didn't bet on yourselves. You're in a I don't want to die. Or lacking confidence. Our desirable qualities. I'll sort out you lot after the tourney. But let's get started. Who's ready for some action? Penguin is hosting some kind of fighting tournament. That's where I need to go. Oh, that's the best you can do. You ain't like a punch. All right, lads. The rest of the losers to be are gonna have to embarrass yourselves without me. God knows you can do it. I've got some business to take care of in the office, and I don't want to be disturbed. Tracy will be running the fights till I get back. Sounds like Penguin will be in his office. Tracy should know where that is. I'll make her talk. Now there's a naughty geezer. Proper naughty. And he deserves a right proper welcome, don't he, lad? Save me a lot of trouble coming here, Batman. I'll kill you. Then I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. And kill you again. <laughs> Or I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in his office. Only way in is through the theater on the other side of the casino. But you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. <clears throat> that worked better than the last interrogation. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. It's always we get stuff. Did I go bring it to him? You serious? We gotta move this cash before the bag. Mr. Cobblepot ain't taking new visitors, and there ain't no way I'm letting you in the theater to see him. So you can be on 
your merry way. Just go in the door, lad. is controlled from that security room. herself a dry slap she has that better be lip gloss you're reaching for oi you can't do this i'm claustrophobic i am i knew you didn't penguin's office is connected to the bad. theater i need to hack the security system and get the theater doors open oi you can't do this What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone, but I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Tried to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see. Psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> <laughs> now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll Ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I wanna hear. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 <laughs> You idiots better kill me, please! Don't hurt me! I hope he kills you! Don't stand there! I'll kiss you a lesson! Are you waiting for a personal invitation? Kill him, you bloody wankers! Don't stand there! Kill him! Now hold on! Hold on a bloody minute! I seen your act! I ain't done nothing you not done! Stop! Black Mask! Put a bounty on my head! Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge! You're not a popular bloke in this town! You're running out of time! 
Wait, wait. Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his safe house. But all black man. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. 
The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here, or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted.
Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. Access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers. I need to find the server room without being discovered. Crime scene, not must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. So, what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? All right. Maybe I'll have the guys over at Evidence Lockup take a look. They can get kind of rough, though. Hope it's not fragile. You want to play hardball, buddy? How's about I tell my cousin at the Gazette about the payments you boys been extorting from Penguin and the like? Scum like you's got a cousin at the Gazette. <laughs> You expect me to believe that? Don't see you calling evidence lockup, now do I? You cops are all the same. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Like I said, I got all night. You and me both, pal. <laughs> Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It... it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? <clears throat> the worst kind of criminal. The kind who thinks their actions are justified. Who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. I should be able to bypass the security on the server room door. <laughs> Easy. 
easy. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> Never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't believe you. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! information. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll fry their circuits and render the stuff useless. Strange. These are black masks, men. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find running around in sewers. CPD. Why are Black Mask's men planting explosives here? The cops have always been on his payroll. This guy knows what he's doing! Oh. Yeah.
wires should be right under your nose. Alfred, confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacid Towers case. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. A casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later. Ready for trouble. And found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. That's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy. Giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much. But he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? So Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchants Bank. I'm on my way there now. It's midnight, sir. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Me too. Bodies everywhere. The Joker may still be here, in the vault. I should use caution. You can just waltz under my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? I got away with it! You're a dead man. Dead! And you shall pay along! You're insane! It's been you this 
time. You hired the assassins. You've been running Sionis's operation. Well, technically it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no. You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> The Joker going. Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Alfred. Pull schematics on Sionis Industries' steel mill. Joker's taken Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker sounds dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear lord. Shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. <laughs> the electromagnetic signal on electrocutioner's gloves. You can track him with your scanner now. A bit late, Alfred. I'm about to get my hands on Black Mask. And maybe the Joker, too. Right. Well, it's ready to go, should you need it. Hack that computer. 
computer so I can find the security code for the door. Alfred, I'm uploading data from one of Black Mask's servers. I need codes to bypass the security door in the loading dock. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged QT syndrome. Anything that raises his heart rate could trigger cardiac arrest. Cyanus was having the Joker followed. These photos show him obtaining chemicals used in making explosives. If I find Cyanus, he'll know what the Joker's planning. Sir, I found the security codes you were looking for. You have access to the building now. Master Bruce, looking through Cyanus's files, I found reference to a chemical similar to the compound you need for your glue grenade. I'm going to try to synthesize it in our lab. If it works, I'll have a prototype for you as soon as the resin cures. Good. I'll need it. The more I learn about the Joker, the more I realize there's something very different about him. You're waiting for something? Get me out of this thing. Where's the Joker? Go to hell. Wrong answer. By my count, there are still nine more ribs I can break. You think that'll make me talk? After what he's put me through, the torture, turned my men on me, stole from me, murdered my woman, he's my kill, not yours! I can control your pacemaker remotely. You want to see what 250 beats per minute feels like? You wouldn't. Copperhead. Tell him I'll pay you whatever you want. Make him suffer it up. An empty promise from a fallen king. I know about the Joker. Couple of freaks. You two deserve each other. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes, your body will realize it. <laughs> That's it. Use your strength. With every effort, you hasten your end. <laughs> Must scan the room for... Copperhead's poison. Female perspiration. Copperhead came this way. All I need... It's one drop of poison. There. It's a powerful neurotoxin. Alfred. Uploading analysis of a neurotoxin. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. <laughs> I need to get to ground level to find the antidote. <coughs> What would your father say if he could see you now, throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune on these frivolous nightly escapades? And for what? You're not this city's savior. You're a wane, and a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a wane at that. Have you forgotten what your family name stands for? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. Someone... 
save me. If you'd only come sooner. What were you doing? You're no hero. A real hero would have saved me. You let me die. How many more must perish before you realize? You savior, you're a curse upon this city. A plague on all of Gotham. Leave us alone! We'd be better off without you. I'd still be alive. Please, you have to save me. Please. You. What's wrong with you? You couldn't save me. Why? Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you save me? in your veins and it will remain there as long as you live, which won't be very long. Send GCPD an anonymous tip. Tell them to look inside the shipping containers at the steel mill. And does that mean you've dealt with Copperhead, sir? Yes, and I'm about to deal with the Joker. I don't think that's wise after what you've just been through. You should come back here for medical... Not now, Alfred. Electrocutioner's gloves emit a powerful electromagnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. But I need to get out of the steel mill first. I should destroy the canister before moving on. Alfred. Sir? I'm uploading a chemical sample. I need you to run a scan of the city. Look for high concentrations of the compound. Find the source, and I can shut it down. Certainly. I'll alert you as soon as I've found something. picking up electrocutioner's signal yet. I'll need to get to higher ground. The central pillar on Pioneer Bridge should do. There. I just need to track the signal to his location.
extension available units. We've got a call of a violent crime. We're still waiting on location. Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here, and Swatter doing his dirty work, keeping Gordon and the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess you'll find out when I bring in the Joker. Sir, do you know just where in the hotel the Joker is located? Not yet. Why? Well, it looks like there's a security room in the hotel lobby. You could use the cameras to find him. Okay, I'll try that. There are enough explosives here to take down this building. Wonder what other surprises I'll find. You ask me, he ain't intending to pay up. As soon as one of the assassins kills the bat, boss will kill that guy. Keep all the cash in his pocket. the security room and look for the Joker. Friends, assassins, welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. you to kill the Batman. You should... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. Want a piece. All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. should get me up to the ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe Electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform. Six five to Brandon. Six three, 
Joker's men are everywhere. Well, I've no doubt you'll figure a way up there. Well, would you look what the guy dragged in? You know you are a little late for supper. Lucky for you, your dear friend Bane just refused to start the meal without you. are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you 
just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Who guess the fireworks are going off early? <laughs> Psychopaths before, but this. Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. to drop in <coughs> and just in time oh, he's my palace <laughs> <laughs> remember you gave your word you have one minute do they even have manners where he comes from <laughs> you see it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... this one? How many lives did you just take? None! I think... That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't. <laughs> I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present I to you the death of the Batman. Let us see what you can do. How are your reflexes? Is this the best you have to offer? This is not how I envisioned our battle. I thought you would challenge me.
and watch you kill yourself. I'm calling Captain Gordon. No, not now. <laughs> I will make this city kneel before me, and then I will leave it in ashes. Uh, guys, can we move this along? I see I've there is buildings to explode. Yeah. Now beat it out of him. Gordon is on his way, sir. You have to hold men off until he arrives. Was the night before Christmas it all through the house? Not a creature was stirring, not even a... And oh, that was gone. A few more blows to the head and he won't be anymore. <laughs> when I'm done with him, I'll be coming for you, Payaso Loco. And who's crazy enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman and Bane? Ooh. <laughs> he hit you so hard it hurt me! Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The bat! The partner! <laughs> My partner? 
Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, bitey little thunderbolts and wanted party crashes screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. Acceptance. Oh, now that's a little tried, isn't it? Stick to Look, it! I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. <laughs> okay, one more, and I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that you're in your life has been building towards this one moment. Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand. There are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own. It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere. Into just emptiness. Now, now you feel like you've got someone by your side. To share the journey with you. How does that make you feel? I feel adrift, float 
hurting. Like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halene. Halene Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. It might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back to the precinct. Place see that. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave... I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. <clears throat> Master Bruce! Stop! Master Bruce! Bruce! You... I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these I'm assassins! What? You're not some hardened vigilante! You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? A t 
teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. Be. No, not maybe. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. But tonight will not be my end. But it will be theirs! It's okay. I understand. I can use the glue grenade to stop the flow of steam from these pipes so I can advance. Men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. My tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. 
I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Bat Cave, and quickly. Repeat, suspect is airborne in a jet pack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC of Pioneer? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. If the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Oh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. This is a hostage situation, people. Get into position and prepare to breach on my order. Do not provoke or engage the suspect. He's got hostages in the bridge sublevel. Just get yourselves into position. I need to draw Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach safely. Open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best. One more. 
more bomb to go on the opposite end of the bridge. Sir, I have those fire door codes you asked for. Okay, I'll call you when I'm at the door. I also thought I'd let you know the hostages you released have escaped. They're telling tales of a hero who saved their lives. I'm not looking for praise, Alfred. I figured you'd say that. Would it kill you to lighten up a bit, sir? I want to see the look on the cop's faces when I blow this bridge into Christmas future. He's burning vehicles now. Half the bridge is on fire. Keep your distance. Don't provoke him. The bomb squad is nearly here. Their last bomb before Gordon and his men force Firefly's hand. Alfred, open the fire door. As you wish, sir.
Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. I'm not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Can you hear me? I'm going to get you out of there. <gasps> Alfred! Alfred! Alfred, you can't. Don't add me to the weight you carry. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, code 10. Repeat, code 10 confirmed at Black Gate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker.
I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. Be one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? About five minutes. You getting those gates open? Be ready by the time you're here. Sir, I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering... Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. Ho, ho, ho! Occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. Me die and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> I brought the city to its knees, crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents. <laughs> Chip it. Let's do this. Okay, okay. So. What our friend Bane holds in his hand is a heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... <laughs> so either you kill Bane... <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man would be home, mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. Oh, and just in case I thought you were thinking that was smart, try to remove the heart monitor and more minced meat on the walls than the house. Uh oh, you made him angry. <laughs> Chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I got a pulse. 
Over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah. Put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. Uh, he's, he's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go. It's 
over, Alfred. I've defeated Bane. Guys off the warden. Let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! You might learn that we're not so different. You might learn something about yourself! You need to learn to shut up. You know, it's sad, really. Makes me feel like you don't care to see the good side in me. Well, I guess learning is a lot to ask from you, meat for brains. <laughs> But there's still hope for you! <laughs> yes! Oh, I've got great hopes for you. So come on! Do stop now! What are you waiting for?
you do it, isn't it? You like the way it feels. It's what you need! <laughs> Come on, baby. Beat me till your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me! <laughs> <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. 